All right, so on number six, this one wants us to find the inverse. All right, so this is not a very common function, but I do want to point you to um, the generic or the general form of what this uh, graph would look like so that you do know, in fact, that it would have an inverse. Because um, you do have the option that you can say that this does not have an inverse. So when we do radicals, that's the same thing as saying 1 over a power. You have an even and you have odd. So this cube root, how it goes, um, it's kind of like the reverse. It's the inverse of this one, this cube root right here. Um, but the way that looks, <coughs> it comes from this. I guess let me try to explain it a little bit further. The cube root that you're seeing, this graph, <clears throat> so y equals the cube root of x. This is the same as saying x to the one third power. Okay, so any odd power. 3, 5, 7, 9 on the bottom is going to have this appearance. Okay. And this function is one to one. If I drew a horizontal line, even though it looks kind of like it's flat, it will cross once. And if I drew a vertical line, no, ma no matter where I drew the vertical line, it would only cross once. So this is a one to one function. Therefore, it will have an inverse. And the way we're going to find that inverse. We're going to start with the equation that they're giving us, or the function that they're giving us. x to the 1 fifth power plus 2. Replace this with y, because that's what that means. y equals x to the 1 fifth power plus 2. And then to find the inverse, you're going to switch the places of x and y and then solve for y. So this is going to be x equals y to the 1 fifth power plus 2. And then we're going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 2 over x minus 2 equals y to the 1 fifth power. And then I'm going to raise both sides to the fifth power to get rid of the 1 fifth. And then we would end up with y equals, and we'll just leave it like this, x minus 2 to the fifth power. So this is our inverse. And then you can, once you have your inverse, you replace it with that um, v inverse x, and it's the same thing. So replace it with a y, switch x and y, solve for y, and then that is your inverse, x minus 2 to the fifth power. <clears throat> Number seven, we want to find the formula for the inverse of this function. So um, this one will be the same. You see that one over fifth is almost identical to this um, problem. So we just have a coefficient out front. Um, but it will have an inverse, and we will go ahead and solve and find that inverse. So I'm going to write down the original problem. V of x equals 4. And then I'm going to write it as... Um, x to the one fifth power just so you can see it that's the same as what we just did so anytime you have a, a number outside that radical you can rewrite it whatever that bottom number whatever the number is on the radical that's the bottom number of your uh, fractional exponent and then minus two and i'm going to replace this with the y now so y equals four x to the one fifth minus 2 and then we're going to switch x and y to, to find the inverse so this is x equals 4 y to the 1 fifth power minus 2 
We're going to add 2, move it over. So it's going to give us x plus 2 equals 4y to the 1 fifth. We're going to divide by 4. <coughs> and I'm going to leave it in the fraction form. So I'm going to have um, x plus 2 over 4. 4 equals y to the 1 fifth. And then I'm going to raise both sides to the fifth power to get rid of the 1 fifth. And so I'll be left with this part right here. y is equal to x plus 2 over 4 to the fifth power. So you can use the keypad. I like to use um, the keyboard. So I just do Shift 6 to do the uh, power, and then I type that in.